What's up, Libra? Trust yourself, you are in the right place. You're meant to be watching this moon message for the last quarter moon in Gemini. So this is covering September 17th through September 20th. And this is all about releasing anything that doesn't serve you in terms of duality. So in, in other words, just being more definitive about shit, really making a firm decision, a firm statement. So this is a love reading. We're going to see who's coming out in your love energy. Maybe who needs to be a little bit more definitive about you. Let's see what's coming through for Libra for the last quarter moon in Gemini. Who is in Libra's love energy? Who's popping out for Libra? Horned cactus resourcefulness. So I'm going to be honest. The first thing that made me this made me think of if I could actually talk is horniness. I feel like this person's very horny for you, especially with the cactus energy, like straight up looking like a dick. I don't know, Libra, maybe you have a dick. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever is watching this, I feel like there's someone very horny for you. And I feel like something might come to fruition by the 29th, which is in 12 days. So yeah, be mindful of that. Something could come to fruition. Um, but yeah, resourcefulness. I'm also getting this energy that this person's kind of like, I feel like peeping your socials, looking at all different angles of how to get in touch with you or how to peep in on you. I'm kind of getting that energy. I feel like you got a stalker, a little mini stalker. So let's see what else is going on for Libra. Besides this horned cactus energy. All right, they're telling me to shuffle three times and we're always prepaid in clarity in these readings. Only clear answers coming through, only what Libra truly needs to see. Give me more for Libra. All right, nice and shuffle. Tell me what Libra needs to see about this person and their energy. But the last quarter moon in Gemini. What does Libra need to see about who's in their love energy? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Three of Swords, there's your Libra energy, and the Wheel in reverse, Jupiter energy, which would be Sag, it also rules over all the fixed signs, so that would be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So let's get this straightened out a little bit, okay. Yeah, Libra, so this is Queen of Pentacles energy and the Three of Swords. This is someone in her bag, like woman that's got it all, master of house and home, her career, everything is working out for her. But then we have the Three of Swords energy, right? So I feel like there's massive heartbreak. It's almost like I got it all, but where's the man or where's the woman? It's like, where's my person? It's almost like a rich, lonely energy is what I'm getting. Like, I don't know if this is the person coming in or if this is your energy, Libra. We have the wheel in reverse. I feel like someone's not had good luck in love. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this, if this is this person. Give me more for Libra. There's been bad luck in love, but great luck in terms of work or finances, or maybe someone's been burying themselves in terms of work and finances in order to kind of get away from these bad feelings about what happened in this heartbreak. Give me more about this. Take the first one I'm hearing. Rejection. Yeah, I don't know if this is you rejecting someone, Libra. First two. Control. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely a controlling person in your midst. And I feel like that's who's coming out in this reading and this energy. Someone who's still very attracted to you. I feel like you, it's almost like your spark burnt out for this person or a light went out for this person because they were too controlling. Maybe this is their energy, like crying like a little baby because they lost you. The queen of pentacles energy. I feel like you rejected this person because they were just, yeah, they were too much. More for Libra. What, is, what does Libra need to see through an affirmation card about this scenario where this person got rejected by Libra? I mean, it's possible it was the other way around. Productivity. My worth is not based on my productivity and it never has been. I do not need to take actions to prove that I belong. All babies are worthy and they cannot in truth care for themselves. We all came into this world worthy without production. So this is just kind of, a, which is interesting because we have resourcefulness, which is kind of like 
and the Queen of Pentacles, product, productive energy. I almost feel like someone's burying themselves in work to get rid of this heartache. I feel like that's this person, Libra. I feel like you rejected someone and their way of dealing with it is kind of burying themselves in work. Like, I'm worthy. Like, I'm a star at work. I mean, this could, of course, be you too. This Queen of Pentacles doing excellent and this person's very upset about it. Like, very upset they lost you. Very upset... Yeah, they did something where you rejected them. That's what I'm getting. Give me something through the charms for Libra. What does Libra need to see? So we have the domino. I'm hearing a domino effect on top of resourcefulness. So I feel like it started off like it was one thing and then it led to like something worse and worse. I don't know why my mind's going there, but I feel like this person like started a domino effect where you were just like, I can't do this anymore. So I feel like you walked away, Libra, especially with resourcefulness. It's like no matter how smart or intelligent or how much this person had, you were just kind of like, I'm not going to settle for less. Just saw 555. Five, five. So some truth has got to be in there. And then we have the sunglasses. So I'm getting like chill and relaxing, not worrying about a damn thing energy. This is just like, I feel like you are just totally cool right now. Queen of Pentacles in it. And this person's like kind of going crazy. More for Libra in this person. Maybe it's a release of communication with the waning uh, moon and Gemini that they can't handle. So we have the sun in Virgo, which, you know, the sun is in Virgo right now. So you're definitely in this person's energy right now. They're in your energy. Virgo is very calm, cool, collected, getting organized. So, yeah, I'm getting something with like a very like a workaholic energy eighth house death and rebirth resurrection this person definitely wants to resurrect something with you but if they haven't told you that it's because they're burying themselves in work and i feel like trying to control an outcome if they feel like they can't have you i'm going to control work if i can't control my relationship i'm going to control work and in the meantime i'm going to call the fucking whamulance because i'm crying like a little bitch like that's kind of what i'm getting libra so this is an interesting energy definitely someone from the past I hope this resonated. Thank you so much. I do want to point out with the wheel in reverse, that can mean unfinished business. So yeah, this person definitely might come back in. So just wanted to point that out. Thanks again, Libra. And I will definitely catch you during the waning crescent reading.